Hi everyone, I'm Andrew from Talk Tank. Do you want to get better at speaking English at work? If so, this video is for you. I'll show you 25 simple but powerful phrases that you can use every day, from sharing ideas to engaging in meetings. They are easy to remember and will help you talk better with the people that you work with. If you need more time to practice during the video, just press the pause button at any time. Make it to the end and you'll find out how to access a downloadable sheet with all the phrases and examples covered in today's lesson. Okay, ready? Let's go. You have arrived at work, you've got that coffee in your hand, and you've set the tone really well by greeting your colleagues. And now you're ready to get down to business. So first up is the phrase, could we schedule a meeting? And this phrase is particularly useful when you want to discuss important topics. You may say, could we schedule a meeting tomorrow to discuss the project details? Starting a meeting shows you want to work together and make sure everyone agrees on the goals. Once that meeting is set, you'll then want to be prepared to contribute. So to introduce your ideas, you can say, may I add a point? For example, may I add a point? I think we can improve our approach by asking customers for more feedback. Politely joining in a conversation shows you are listening and want to help think of ideas. In any meeting, clarity is very important. If you're unsure about something that's been said, don't hold back. Ask, could you clarify that for me? You may say, could you clarify that for me? I want to be sure I understand your point. Asking questions helps you understand better and shows you care about the details. Next, when you want to be the first to do something, be brave and say, I can take the lead on this. It shows people that you want to be responsible. Here's an example of how this could look. I can take the lead on this event planning. I have some fresh ideas. Offering to lead shows you are willing to take charge and believe in your skills. And when new challenges arise, show your enthusiasm by saying, I'm excited to tackle new challenges. It's a great way to let others know you're ready to do your very best. You may offer, I'm excited to tackle new challenges that this project may bring. Saying I'm excited to tackle new challenges tells your team you're ready and willing to jump in and solve problems. It shows you're someone who helps the team grow and that you are willing to take on new tasks. Time management is essential in the workplace. To manage your tasks effectively, inquire with, what's the deadline for this task? For example, what's the deadline for this task? I want to prioritize my workload effectively. Knowing when things are due helps you figure out what to do first and what to expect. Working together often sparks creativity. When it's time to think about ideas with your team, suggest, let's brainstorm some ideas. For example, you could say, let's brainstorm some ideas for the new marketing campaign. Brainstorming is a way for everyone to come up with new ideas together. Being quick to help is impressive. Let others see your good attitude by saying, I'll get right on it. For example, thanks for the feedback. I'll get right on it and make those changes. Quick responses show you are ready to work and focused on getting things done. Keeping the team updated on your progress is important. Once you've completed a task, announce it with, I've completed the assignment. Consider saying something like, I've completed the assignment. Where can I send the report? Telling others when you've finished a task helps everyone know how the project is going. 
Next up, asking for feedback helps you to do better. Ask your teammates at work what they think by saying, I value your feedback on this. You can say this, I would value your feedback on this design before it goes to the client. Asking for opinions shows you want to do a great job and value other people's ideas. And when things get tough, it's really important that we work together. Encourage your work friends by saying, let's tackle the challenges together. And here's one way that you could say this. We've run into some problems with the project, but let's tackle the challenges together. Working together when things are tough builds teamwork and helps everyone improve. Recognizing others' efforts encourages teammates to feel more helpful and friendly. Always take a moment to say thanks, saying, thank you for your assistance. For example, thank you for your assistance with the presentation. It made a huge difference. Saying thank you for help builds friendship and shows you appreciate others' work. Being able to change plans is important. When things don't go as expected, ask, what's your plan B? Here's how you could use this in a phrase. The supplier has run into a problem. What's our plan B for the materials? If the first plan fails, ask, what's our plan B? This gets the team thinking of other ways to succeed. We are all busy. And as you know, sometimes things come up that we didn't plan for. When this happens and you can't meet when planned, ask, can we reschedule this? You could offer, I'm double booked at that time. Can we reschedule this meeting for Thursday? When plans need to change, suggest, can we reschedule this? It shows respect and your willingness to find a new time that works for everyone. Do you ever feel overwhelmed and in need of a little time out during the day? I know I do and you definitely aren't alone. So when this happens, you can suggest, can we take a five minute break? Here's how this could look. We have been at this for hours. Shall we take a five minute break? Suggest, shall we take a five minute break to help you and the team rest during a busy period of the day and come back stronger. Confirming your attendance shows commitment. Make your intentions clear by saying, I'll be there. You could say, you're hosting a workshop on negotiation skills? I'll be there. Confirm you'll join by saying, I'll be there. It shows you're reliable and helps others count on you. Have you ever been unsure about everything that was said in a meeting? No problem. Summarizing discussions can help reinforce understanding. Finish a meeting by asking, let's summarize the key points. Here's an example. We have covered a lot, so let's summarize the key points before we all leave. End meetings by saying, let's summarize the key points. It makes sure everyone understands what was decided. Presenting new ideas with an open mind can lead to greater things. Offer your thoughts for the team to think about with, here's a thought for consideration. For example, here's a thought for consideration. How about we try a work schedule that can change if needed? Offer a new idea with here's a thought for consideration. It invites others to think and give their views. Telling your team they're doing a good job can make them happy and more motivated. Cheer them on with, keep up the great work. Here's a great way to use this phrase. The client loved the presentation. Keep up the great work team. Encourage your team by saying, keep up the great work. If you are ever worried that people do not understand what you say, it's okay to repeat the important stuff. I do it all the time. Make everything clear with, 
just to confirm you're saying for example just to confirm you're saying we need to increase the budget by 10 percent avoid misunderstandings by repeating important points saying just to confirm you're saying when you are really busy giving people tasks can help to get more done when you need help just ask could you handle this task? Here's an example of how you could use this phrase. I'm really busy with checking our accounts. Could you handle this task of putting together the sales reports? Lighten everyone's work by asking, could you handle this task? It shows trust and helps manage the workload. In the workplace, keeping the lines of communication open is essential. To know what's going on, say, please keep me updated. For example, as you progress with the client negotiations, please keep me updated. Stay informed by saying, please keep me updated. It helps you make good decisions with the latest information. Sharing your concerns is just as important as sharing your ideas. When something doesn't seem quite right to you, Speak up carefully with, I have some reservations about this. Here's one way to use this phrase. I have some reservations about this approach. It may be too risky. If you're unsure, say, I have some reservations about this. It shares your concerns respectfully. Whenever you need to agree on something important in work, it's best to have a record. To do that, we say, let's put this in writing. Here's how this could look. Great idea. Let's put this in writing to outline everyone's responsibilities. Make agreements clear by saying, let's put this in writing. It sets expectations and duties for everyone. And for the 25th and final phrase today, we need to plan ahead before we leave work for the day. To get ready to do more good work and to help encourage your team for the next day, we can say, looking forward to tomorrow's achievements. How might this look? We've accomplished a lot today, team. Looking forward to tomorrow's achievements. End the day with a promise of continued effort and success with Looking forward to tomorrow's achievements. This phrase shows your appreciation for today's work and your eagerness to build on it tomorrow. Thank you for sticking with me to the end. Use these phrases often and you'll become more flexible, thoughtful and cooperative at work. If you want to keep practicing these phrases, I've got a gift for you. Click the link below to download a sheet with all the phrases and examples we have talked about today. And one more thing, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Which phrase are you eager to try out? Sharing helps us all improve, so let's continue to learn from each other. Happy communicating at work.